This is CES 2025, and we are at a very innovative booth. It is Waymo, and we are with Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello. Could you please let us know what's going on here? Yeah, so you know, here at Waymo, as the uh, an autonomous vehicle technology company, we've made a lot of strides in the past couple of years. You know, we've been around for 15 years, but really, I think 22 and 23, we've seen significant growth in our fully autonomous ride-hailing service, and we're here at CES to uh, spread the good news about what's been going on and get some people excited to come ride with us. Perfect. And what is so unique about your technology? Yeah, what's unique is. Uh, Premo is a full level four autonomous vehicle, meaning that there's no one at the wheel, drives completely autonomously by itself at all times. There's no expectation of anyone to have to pay attention or take over. Actually, we restrict people from being in the driver's seat. So the Waymo One service truly is a ride hailing service using our app, hailing a ride, just shows up with no one in it. That's great. And do you know anything about the future of regulations, the future use of new materials, new applications in order to be more successful at this level? Yeah, I think what you're seeing here is our fifth generation of the Waymo driver based on the Jaguar I-PACE all-electric vehicle. I think what we've put together is a pretty fantastic package that's currently operating in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, San Francisco and Los Angeles, California, and we'll soon be launching this year in Austin and Atlanta in partnership with Uber. So this, this vehicle here is really what's that proof of concept that really can prove to the world that yes, autonomous vehicles are real, that they work, and that they're driving at scale. You know, right now we're just delivering, or offering uh, um, over 150,000 paid trips with customers every single week, week over week, driving, getting people to their destination safely, um, and making sure we're making a positive impact on the community we're in. The sixth generation of the Waymo driver is gonna be uh, in development throughout this year, currently testing on public roads uh, with our partner Zeker. And that sixth generation is really, I think, evolving our technology even further to optimize the package, bring down costs, increase the scale, um, and we're very much looking forward to that. Those are exact, exciting news. Can you tell us a little bit about how do you make it safer for the passengers or the pedestrians? Yeah, I think uh, we do quite a bit with our safety research to be as transparent and open you know, with the public as possible, right? So in that, uh, we publish a lot of our safety data, the mileage we collect, and we've driven tens of millions of fully autonomous miles on public US roads, and we've already seen that data to date as we compare to human comparable benchmarks that we are improving road safety, and we do that in many ways, because the Waymo driver, not only can it see 360 degrees around it at all times up to 300 yards away, it is always paying attention. It's not drowsy, it's not distracted, it's not drunk, it's not angry, it's not late to work, right? It's always gonna drive safely and carefully, deliberately with our super-powered AI, right, behind the wheel, making sure that it's always planning, taking into all its environment, and then trying to navigate safely to its destination. That is great, and it's a reality thanks to you. It is a reality. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much.